Well, here we are. After months of hyping up this thing, I once again failed to deliver. Ever since my entire I might become homeless thing that happened in November, have I been telling people that I was gonna make a video on neo neoliberalism, in which I basically tear society apart. I was really gonna get in there, deep and hard, just spreading it open and tearing it to pieces. But it turns out that when it comes down to it, I just could not deliver and get the job done. This is why I'm making a video right now. To explain why I could not get it done. Consider this video to be part apology and part self-therapy. I have not really managed to talk to a therapist yet, so here I am, sharing it all with the world. Totally normal thing to do. To air your mental health problems on YouTube. Right? Right? It's normal, right? I think a good place to start is to explain what I had planned and why I wanted to make a video on neoliberalism. After that we can move on to why it did not work and what happens next. So in November when I got to hear that starting January I had six months to find a home or I would become homeless, I got into a mental breakdown. I don't think that this is too surprising, I am legally disabled and neurodivergent, so homelessness would basically be a death sentence for me. I was extremely angry at the state of affairs, not just because of what was happening, but more why it was happening and the fact that this was not the first time that I had been on the receiving end of some austerity politics implemented by the neoliberal chuckle fox that I hesitate to call my government. Ever since I became an adult and got an autism diagnosis, I have spent my entire adult life constantly fighting with government institutions and companies. So this was just another thing to add to the pile. However, what really broke me this time was just the apparent meaninglessness of it all. I'd spent the last six and a half years trying to do my best to improve myself and make something of my life, and the moment I think that things are moving in the right direction, something happens that completely throws everything into disarray and I have to start all over again. It's like you spend a lot of time making a sculpture, and the moment you are done, some asshole comes along with a hammer and completely smashes it to bit. Except the hammer is neoliberalism and the sculpture is my life. This is why I wanted to make a video, this is why. Stories like what happened to me are not unique. They happen across the globe in all manner of ways. Some more severe, some less. But they are all the fault of neoliberal politics and a neoliberal economy that puppets our lives and destroys our bodies and souls. All in the name of profits and the free market. Pfft, nothing free about it. Anyway, I planned to make this video after I'd moved. Obviously, was I not really in a position where I could easily make videos, considering I had to basically spend all of my free time looking for a new place to live. With a lot of blood, sweat, tears and luck, mostly luck, I somehow managed to find a new place to live. The same place where I'm currently writing and recording this right now. I had managed to defy fate and avoid becoming homeless. Another stunning victory for Pim. A victory? Perhaps. But a costly one. I had to throw out half of my belongings and give up some of my hobbies for good. But you know what? That does not matter. All that matters was, it was that I was in more stable living conditions now, meaning that I could finally work on this fucking video. So I began writing down a draft. I had bought a book that I wanted to use as my main source. A book on disability politics from a Marxist perspective. This, this, would, this would give my arguments the explosive charge that I needed to tear down this wall of stagnant decay that neoliberal society had wrought. I began writing down the script, I began recording it, and I did not like it. So I rewrote the script, and I liked that even less. I then figured that maybe the standard video essay approach was not gonna work. Maybe I should improvise more and just use notes instead of the script. So I tried that, and I hated that even more. Changed the notes and I got the same result. No matter what I wrote, I could not get myself to like what I produced and I found it getting harder and harder to really tackle this subject. At first I thought it was just because I was too focused on it, that if I gave myself more time and if I allowed myself to rest, that it would work out more. But as time moved on, I figured that this was not really helping things. It was only a few days ago when I had a few social spats that did not go well, that I realized the problem. Everything that had happened had broken me. In a way that was worse than it had before. 
As a result, have I basically zero trust in people anymore and am I in a state of constant anger and pessimism if the tone of the video didn't set you off? I have worked five years to fix my mental health problems after I quit my jobs. And all the effort I had made has been obliterated by a single decision made by a single government bureaucrat. I'm fairly certain there are people watching this right now who are familiar with this feeling, but it is an incredibly demoralizing thing to work so fucking hard on making something of your life only to have it all almost fall apart years later. It was at this point that I realized that a new liberalism video was just not gonna happen. And you know what? Maybe that is for the best. If I had made a video, it would have either been a Wikipedia article in video form or an embarrassing mess that really should be kept to private eyes only. I feel like video essays on the way out anyway, so I'm not really, sh so I'm not even really sure if I'm gonna keep on making them. I would much rather work on something I actually like working on, rather rather than working on something that makes me depressed. But yeah, that's the story of how neoliberalism broke me. So yeah, congratulations. I hope you're all proud of yourselves. I consider neoliberal capitalism to be one of the greatest evil on this planet, and not just because of what it did to me. The damage it has wrought to people in the global south and the damage and suffering it brings to other people like myself and beyond is immeasurable. And the fact that we're not even really allowed to say that out loud is fucking shameful. Look, I will recover one way or another and bounce back. I have done so before in the past and I will do so again. But I will never forget what was done to me or what is done against other autistic people like myself. I will never look at the Dutch government in the same light again. They can talk about their participation societies and how, peop and how people should contribute all they want. I have felt the result of your policies and I see straight to their lies. Anyway, that's all it for me. I'm sorry that, I, I'm sorry that th this is all you're gonna get. But, but, but tell me something. How have you been negatively impacted by neo neoliberalism? Leave a comment and maybe get a conversation going in the comment section. I will see you all next time.